Good afternoon, Bagalogery. Uh, quite a few things to go over this week. The notification bar thing is basically done, um, as done as it can be, before I finish up other things that need to hook into it. Uh, but for now, pretty good. Uh, I'll get to that in a second here. Uh, while I was working on that, one of the things I noticed was, like, you'll remember from other videos, there used to be a big alert that would pop up here. That, that, like, if you posted a comment, it would say, comment posted. And it would, you don't need that when things are working like you would expect them to. Uh, so I ki kind of got rid of that. Uh, basically, instead, if something is loading, you get a little loading up here, and it'll just go away after it's done. If there is an error, that'll enlarge and tell you about the error, tell you to go yell at me or whatever. Um, but yeah, that, a lot less in your face. I could, that could maybe even stand to be even smaller, but for now, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, the comments, uh, the notification, not notification, the navbar icons up here. Uh, you'll remember last week I was experimenting with making these icons. Uh, I agree with the feedback that, you know, you, just icons can be hard to interpret. Um, so if I do go that way, I'll definitely have an icon with text. Um, but for now, I'll probably leave it like this. Um, those and the bell, actually, uh, are SVG icons, or scalar vector graphics, which are they're really nice to work with after you have the, the image all done and ready to go on your website. Making them is a pain in the butt, and I wasted way too much time fiddling with that last week. Uh, ugh. Don't like them. You can actually make them in code with a, just like a string of numbers, which is... I don't think anyone actually does them that way, but it's technically possible. It's weird. Um, anyway. Um, so the bell notification up here is going to be able to alert you for comments, mentions, uh, messages, multi-tap, like if uh, someone follows you, and then uh, any up um, site updates. Uh, so let, and I'm thinking of just letting you use this drop down as for navigation, because why not use it? You know, is there? Why not use it? So if uh, let's say try wants to post a thing. And that all works, and then we go over to me, and uh, what I've done, like this, well, no, first let me refresh to show you, uh, you know, I got a new alert up there now with the one comment. Uh, let me zoom in so you can see that better. Um, so yeah, basically a, a different circle and a different color for every kind of alert. Um, Maybe a little busy, but the odds of you actually having like all of them going off at the same time probably won't be too often. Uh, but if I go over here, let me zoom out. Uh, so yeah, I got Price comment was posted, uh, and if I leave the page, that alert will go away. So uh, I like that. At a glance, you can tell, like, oh, I got three mentions or one multi-tap follow. Or you can hover over it and get, a, like, a color-coded look at what is going on there. Um, I don't... I actually don't know if other websites do it like that or applications on your phone. I don't... I'm sure someone has. I, I, I like it. Let me know what you think. Um... Yeah, so that is working here. Oh, uh, one thing, uh, talking about the, um, the old pop-up notifications. Instead of getting those, get rid of those entirely, I thought that would be fun to use for, like, uh, 
a badge pop up, like an achievement unlock, kind of the same location and style as you would see on a game console. Uh, just the fun things like, hey, you got the on fire badge or whatever. Uh, so I'm going to keep that code around to use that later when I get the badges working. And I think that pretty well covers it as far as site updates. Um, unfortunately, the, uh, the full-time work on the site remake is coming to an end here as I have classes starting next, not next, let's see, next week will be my last free week before I have to start teaching again. Uh, so I have to get all my classes prepped up for the semester. Uh, the good news is we just hit the uh, one of the goals we've been close to for a good while now. Uh, so during the semester, I, I can only work part-time because of health reasons. Um, so uh, the re my non-working quote-unquote non-working time I will be spending uh, doing at least 16 hours of work on the site remake. Uh, there's one final goal to get to 24 hours and that's about as much time I think I can comfortably say I can put in toward the site and teach at the same time. Um, so yeah another goal to hit if uh, y'all out there want to chip in toward that. Um, I'm still working out how I want to like handle things uh, when I'm actually working again. Um, one system that I like is uh, I've been doing this uh, for the past month maybe? About that long? Um, I've used a lot of, like, I'd like to have, like, a reminder, like, hey, get up away from the computer and take a break. Uh, every now and then, I find it helps me focus on what I'm doing, and, uh, you know, just, like, bleh and zone out and, like, get lost and start spinning your wheels. Um, so what, basically what I've, and I've tried, like, alerts that, like, lock your computer and like tell you like hey go take a break and you have to have a way to dismiss that in case you, there's an emergency or something and what i found is if i do that i just start yeah go away i don't i'm in the middle of thinking here i i, I don't want to stop right now and i i just stop using it it, just, it doesn't work so what i've ended up doing is this is like I don't know, a dozen feet away from me. So I set up my phone here and with a timer and, you know, I, I've come down to like, like I, I work a half hour and then take like a couple minute break, get up, walk around, clean the house a little bit or whatever, and then I get back to it. And however much I'm working for the day, I have a wooden coin for each one. So timer goes off, I have to get up to shut it up. And then I drop a coin in the box here, uh, reset the timer. And that is, has been a good way for me to like manage my day. Uh, working from home has, it's, it's very nice, but it is also hard to manage, like to manage your time properly like you would do more easily when you're in the office um, and it goes both ways like there are days when you want to slack off and there are days when like you're really like in the zone and you overwork and you can do that a lot and it is bad that's probably how I probably a contributing factor to how I hurt my nerves originally uh, but who knows but uh, anyway I tell you all of that because uh, this is I'm going to use a modified version of this system to keep track and make sure I'm giving you guys the hours uh, you have paid for. Uh, so basically, uh, we're, we're going to be doing the uh, 16. 
So I'm just going to have uh, 32 coins since, since I work in half hour increments. And every week I will have 32 coins out here and I will... <laughs> hey, Maddie. <laughs> that, that's my cat. Um, every half hour, you know, when, I, when I'm working, I'll pop in a new coin. And by the end of the week, if I don't have all the coins in the bucket here, then I screwed up. And I'll have to make that up next week or whatever. That shouldn't be an issue because this has been working really well for me and I really like it. Uh, so, yeah. As far as uh, Patreon updates, um, probably not. Well, first, next week, they're not going to be updates because I'm going to need it the whole week to prepare my classes for the semester. And then the week after that, uh, is my parents 50th wedding anniversary <laughs> so I'm gonna be out of town for that just mostly over the weekend um, so this will be the last video update for a week or two and then um, yeah probably the beginning of next month I'll get into a better groove and um, since I'm working less on the remake, I'm probably going to be posting more just like short like picture updates of like, here's a little thing whenever, you know, it doesn't have to be on the weekend, just whenever I finish up a little thing I can show you guys, I'll post that. And then uh, at least once a month, I'll come back and do a video thing, maybe every other week, I don't know, it kind of depends on how things are working out. Uh, so hopefully you guys are cool with that, let me know if you have any thoughts on how, if you would prefer that to go one way or another. Um, but yeah, the summer, you know, we got more done than I feared we might, and not as much done as I hoped we would. <laughs> so I guess that's, that's fair, I guess. <laughs> Can't ask for more than that. Um, I've, I've, done comparisons trying to, you know, actually type instead of using my vocal stuff recently, and I've, I figure I work about at a quarter of the speed vocally that I do when I can type, which is a huge bummer thinking about, because think of like, how much I could have got done this summer. Um, but, it is what it is. Um... So yeah, uh, thanks everyone for the support, and uh, you know, if you guys want to get even more hours in weekly, chip in toward that goal, and let me know what you think about uh, things going forward, if you have any ideas, and I'll see you guys next time.